What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and I'm honestly just going to cut right to the chase. What you guys are looking at here is the ban list. Now first thing I'm going to do is refresh a couple times to make sure that there's no update. Yeah, there's no update. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about the ban list, obviously. But specifically, I really want to talk about how I feel like Konami's just straight up trolling us at this point. I don't know what it is, but we are getting trolled. Now, just before we get into the video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so already. We're on the road to 7,000, yada, 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 you know, all that Yugi Tuber stuff. Okay, I want to get into this now because there is something I want to talk about, okay? So here you guys can see, I'm just going to keep refreshing to make sure I don't look like a fool here. All right, so here you guys can see effective from 17 May. 2022 so may 17th was the last time we started a new format essentially with a new ban list and this is the ban list right okay all cool now there's been a lot of things that have happened since may 17th i mean we're obviously in september now today is september 16th when i'm recording this so it's been about four months already essentially and we still have no news of a ban list but it's not that we have no news of a ban list that is kind of troubling me and i really want to get you guys' opinion on this Honestly, I'm going to tell you guys my opinion. I feel like I know what some of your opinions are going to be, but I do want to talk about this because I feel like it's a little bit weird on Konami's end because you guys are going to see that Konami's done a lot of things, but for some reason just continue to avoid the ban list. So what I mean by that is this. Here you guys can see, um, let, me, let me go here first. Okay, so here you guys can see that the OCG got a ban list on July 1st, okay? So that was after we got our ban list. So we got our ban list May 17th. They got their ban list July 1st. Not only did they get a July 1st ban list, they just most recently got a ban list that starts on October 1st. So they got a ban list already. So now they know what's to be expected coming in October and they got another ban list. So at the moment, Konami has essentially given OCG two ban lists without giving us a single ban list. Now I know Konami OCG works differently than Konami TCG. They work independently of each other. So it doesn't mean that Konami is just favoring the OCG. Don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm trying to say. But what I'm trying to say is that the OCG has given them two ban lists because they understand the need for a ban list within a certain period of time, because that's how just, you know, you change up the game. You can uh, add new cards to the pool, make people play new decks. So for that reason, you know, the OCG understands, hey, Let's give them another ban list starting October 1st, give them time essentially to build their decks because, you know, we're still in September now. So they still have two weeks before this pretty much takes place, which also gives them the opportunity to plan, right? So they have now two ban lists, the OCG, when we are still stuck in our May 17th ban list. What's throwing me off even more is the fact that Master Duel just got a ban list. Now, not only did Master Duel just get a ban list, this Master Duel ban list was August 31st. That was the most recent one before the new one, which I'm just going to talk about. They had one on August 31st. They had one on May 9th, which was just before our TCG ban list, right? So they had a May 9th one. They had an August 31st one, but they just recently updated it again to give one for September 30th. So now Master Duel has had three ban lists. I guess you could say two because, you know, May 9th was before the 17th, but in the span between May and October because it's September 30th so in the span between May and October they've got in three different ban lists and we're just stuck with this one we like nothing has changed and I really don't understand why why does Konami keep dodging the TCG now I understand that again like I said the OCG and the TCG are independent of each other they have nothing to do with each other just because Konami drops the ban list in the OCG means nothing in the TCG to be honest with you like these lists this most recent list is you know nothing going to be involved with the tcg list obviously because we already have carrier band we have like full power brave at this point still we don't even have the issues and stuff so don't worry about the ocg ban list i actually think this is not an indication whatsoever to the tcg ban list but i will say the fact that the ocg kind of got it right they said hey we started one in july you know and between july is august september hey you know what we need one in october as well so boom october 1st they have a new ban list. Now that's only three months. That's a three month time span between their last ban list and their newest ban list. Whereas for us, it's May 17th. So May, June, July, August, we're in September. We're on our fifth month here without a single ban list. That's crazy to me. Honestly, that, that's just a, a wild concept to me. The fact that we're just waiting for a ban list and essentially people, I think already know what they want to get banned. And that's, that's kind of what I want to talk about this. This is going to be a shorter video, but I just want to talk about just a little bit because everyone expects mystic mind to go. Okay. Whether you agree with these bans or not, like there's just a general like consensus that I've seen through Twitter, Facebook, you know, just in a, being in a bunch of groups, right? So the consensus essentially is that mystic mind needs to go, Scythe needs to go, and then Barry statue needs to go. I know some people have talked about dimension shifter i don't think dimension shifter is gonna go it also just got reprinted in the crystal beast structure deck which means shifter is 100 safe i honestly thought shifter was gonna be safe anyway so forget shifter but you know mystic mind scythe 
bury your statue, they should go, you know, make the lives of everyone a little bit easier. Now, everything else that gets hit, you know, it could change, could depend on what, where Konami wants to go with the meta, you know, whether they hit like Danger Nessie back to one so that tier is not as powerful. It also sells the Ishuzu stuff that's coming out in November. So, you know, whether they do other things on the ban list is, you know, a factor, but it's not as big as the cards we just want banned and out of the game so that we can continue to play. On top of that, I do want to say one thing from a Yugi tuber standpoint, all right, from someone like me who does a lot of deck profiles, I've been kind of in a limbo because I'm like, you know what? I can't even create deck profiles because at any day, at any moment, a ban list can drop and then the deck profile that I film is absolutely useless. And then at that point, you know, you, you're kind of taking away from my ability to grow as a creator. Now, I understand that's something that not everyone has to deal with. The average Yu-Gi-Oh player probably doesn't have to, but I'm just telling you guys from my standpoint, it's like, hey, I want to bring you guys all these decks, but, you know, let's just say I did a Tri Brigade deck profile, right? And then, you know, the ban list drops tomorrow. And tomorrow we have Tanky at three. So it's like, why would I give you guys a Tri Brigade profile where now, you know, you want to play three Tanky and you maybe want to play other different cards in it. It's hard for me to bring you guys deck profiles when I know at any moment those deck profiles are useless and now we need a new one. So that's kind of like where I'm at with this. I just think it doesn't make sense. There's no reason why Master Duel needs three ban lists. Forget, forget the OCG. You know what? Forget the OCG. There's no reason why Master Duel needs three ban lists before we even get one here in the TCG. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know how big Master Duel is as a game. And what I mean by that is are more people just playing Master Duel? Does Konami think Master Duel is actually the way, you know, for the future of Yu-Gi-Oh? I, I don't know. I, I can't tell you that. But it's just kind of weird to me because, like, okay, Buster, okay, I didn't even look at this balance. Buster being at 2 is kind of cool because I play ABC in, in Master Duel, so this is kind of cool. I won't lie. But anyways, that's not the point. The point here is the fact that I'm like, yo, it doesn't make sense that Master Duel is getting so much attention when, you know, like, What's the point? You know, I understand Master Duel is a worldwide thing, which means that it's OCG plus TCG because you can play against OCG players. So maybe that's why they're dealing with it. But like three ban lists and we can't get one. We can't get a single ban list. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, I know this was kind of a shorter video, but it's just something I wanted to bring up because like, I just feel like Konami's trolling us at this point. There's there's just no reason to, to do this. To get not have a ban list for five months like it just it doesn't make sense to me so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already we're on the road to 7,000. couldn't be here without you guys so with that spanko signing out peace